fast time for the donkey of the day. That's 45. Which Charlemagne the devil? Possible. <laughs> Club. Yes, donkey of the day for Monday, May 8th, goes to Oakland Athletics broadcaster Glenn Kuiper, or Cooper, I don't know. Uh, the mayonnaise is heavy on this one. Glenn was suspended Saturday and will remain off the air because during Friday's pregame show, he was trying to tell the audience that he had visited Kansas City's Negro League Baseball Museum, but he didn't say Negro. Let's listen. <laughs> we had a phenomenal day today. Negro League Museum and Arthur <laughs> Bryant's Barbecue. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. The the hilarious thing about this is his co-host that was next to him didn't flinch at all. Nope. Mr. (laughs) Co-host, you're supposed to be like Draymond Green's son and hold him accountable for the nonsense coming out of his mouth. But no, you just went with it. And now Glenn, rightfully so, has been suspended until a review of his on-air racial slur is complete. Complete. Okay, Uh, nothing to review there, folks. All right. That was the N word with the ER. That man has said Mm. that word so much that he didn't even think twice about it when he Mm. said it. In his mind, there is no other word that starts with N that applies to black people other than the N word. Heavy on the ER. Not Negro, not neighbor, not Nutella, just. (laughs) Okay. I feel like I have to take this time to teach the difference between Negro and uh, the N-word, though. Okay, a Negro moment is a proud achievement or event in black history, things that have shifted the world, something that uh, African-Americans are proud of, something that exudes black excellence, okay? Like Barack Obama, even though he's only half a Negro, becoming president, okay? Mm-hmm. Or Matthew Henson and Admiral Robert Perry becoming the first men to reach the North Pole in 1909. Or Tyler Perry, who we was talking about earlier, yes. opening his studio in Atlanta. Those are proud Negro moments. But then there is N-word moments. The great urban philosopher Huey Freeman told us what a Negro, uh, a N-word moment was on season two, episode 11 of the classic show, The Boondocks. Listen. Webster defines the nigger moment as a moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical Negro man, causing him to act in an illogical, self-destructive manner, i.e. like a nigger. Mm. So now mm. that we know the difference between Negro and the N-word, it got me to thinking. Just to play white devil's advocate here, what if there was an N-word league museum? Mm. What would be in it? We have our guest co-host, Jess Hilarious, Uh-oh. in the building. Uh-oh. She is an expert of all things niggatry. Uh, <laughs> oh Jess, my God. Jess, if there was an N-word league museum, what would some of the exhibits be? The niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, we can't. Okay. So, um, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would be in it? <laughs> what? <laughs> the first lady of BMF. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can Watch see that. that. I, I can see that. Also, I, that. I got the hookup too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that in there. Yeah, yeah. I definitely. can see that in there. Definitely. Okay. And right in the back. Okay. I got to hook up with being in the back. That's the last exhibit before you get to the end of the maze. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can see that. I can yeah. see that. I can see that. Listen, the, the 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 I think that the biggest thing that would be in the uh N word museum would be a exhibit to one of the greatest N words to ever walk the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. Soldier Boy. Can you imagine going on a floor of Soldier Boy and just going from N word moment to N word moment with mm. Big Soldier? Oh Let's listen. God. They say Soldier ain't from the hood. Hey, they say really? Soldier ain't from the hood. Like, get off me though. Oh, man, that's get off like, me though. What's happening? Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on, give me another one. Give me another one. Suck my. Y'all mm. ain't gonna never make it out the hood. Y'all ain't gonna die broke. Oh, oh, oh. Give me another one. Give me another one. That one. Give me another How about yeah. I start shooting? Classic. Come on now. Shot the Come on now. Shot his ass. Classic. 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 We got any more? Drake. Come on now. Drake. Come on now. You got body by Pusha T? Drake. Yes. Come on now. Here's the thing. The N-Word League Museum sounds extremely entertaining, but Glenn, we don't need your help in naming it. All right? Please let Chelsea Handler give Oakland Athletics Glenn Kuiper the biggest hee-haw. 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 That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. Does Kathy Griffin want to say something? Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. You know I like to match energy, so when a white person uses the N-word, uh, what Chris Rock got to say? Cracker-ass cracker! What, 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 what my girl got on the menu this morning? Crackers! Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are crazy. Well, are we crazy now? Yeah, yeah, y'all crazy. Mm. You I ain't gonna lie. You them, them, them pre-rolls gonna be up in the in the I mean in the in the, in the Negro the, the N-word museum. Pre-rolls, <laughs> pre-rolls, yep, pre-rolls would definitely pre-rolls. be in the N-word museum. Uh-huh. And then you gotta eat after. What, what kind of food? No, cause I ain't get high off of them, so they ain't get me hungry. <laughs> so that's why they in the back of the black. The, the, the oh, you talking about envy pre-rolls? Yeah, about the envy pre-rolls. And he knew what he was doing. He gonna get me them or whatever. And then say, oh, I got the real treat. I got, at some, home. I got some what? treats for you tomorrow. I got some treats for you tomorrow. Yeah, cause they hit like Marlboro. 
those. I told you, don't give me those. <laughs> All, right. All right. What about a black and mild twist of sweet exhibit? Ooh, yes. All day. That's in there. What is it giving? <laughs> Vape, what's going on? Hello? <laughs> Popeyes, what's up? Popeyes. What are you talking about? You gotta have a Popeyes chicken sandwich in there. Yes, uh-huh. Saweetie's eating habits. What are we talking about? Saweetie's eating habits eating would habits. be in the N-word mm-hmm. museum. Yes, yes. I'm talking about jelly on pizza, shorty crazy. <laughs> jelly it's, on pizza. Yeah, all yes. of that. Yes, I uh, agree. A street boxing exhibit honoring the legendary Sharkeisha. Ooh. Yes, and every time you go up and you hit it, it's Sharkeisha, no! We should have Charlemagne. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should have that. All that. Yo, the Sharkeisha exhibit would be hard. Yeah. Half you know how they got envy. them things you punch? Yes. You said half of envy. Half of envy. Oh, half that of. makes sense. No, yeah. because he's only half. I'm, mm. I'm full black. I'm, I don't know. That's don't true. listen to him. I'm, I'm really 100% black. <laughs> okay. no, he's not. No, he's not. He says I'm Dominican. No, I'm not Dominican. I'm 100% That's the, black. the beige effect. And I'm tired okay. of it. People, when you see me in the street, I'm really black. No, don't say, not. oh, no. no Hola. Speaking of black, speaking of black, the credits is rolling on BET. All right, well, shout to BET. We'll see you guys tomorrow. BET, peace, Jess. Peace, y'all. Where? Right there. Say peace, BET. Peace, BT. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow and every day after. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> 